Kevin Rudd has sold his soul for an opinion poll. This is a political tactic. Make no mistake at all. You know it is bad when Labor announces a policy so dismally offensive that even Scott Morrison hadn't thought of it. <laughs> and Tony Abbott looked like he's trying to cough up a rat, congratulating Kevin Rudd on coming up with the idea. That's, that is how bad this has got. We are proposing to subcontract out our human rights obligations to one of the poorest countries in the region, a country that barely has a functioning police and judicial system. Even as Nauru was burning last night, this policy was announced and then those strategists who figured this would be some sort of electoral masterstroke got to sit back and watch it unfold on TV and in the tabloid newspapers as we slammed the door on some of the poorest and most marginalised people in the world. Do we seriously think that the announcement of this policy is going to stop ethnic cleansing in Sri Lanka? No. Do we seriously believe that this will stop the persecution of Hazaras in Afghanistan? Or pro-democracy campaigners in Iran? Or people fleeing conflicts, the Rohingyas, systematic violence against the Rohingya in the western part of Burma? Do we really think this degraded, small-minded, petty political stunt is going to stop those human rights abuses from happening? Of course it won't. We seem to be back to the white Australia policy. This is eerily reminiscent of what happened in this country in 1938 when Jews were fleeing the Nazis from Germany and other parts of Western Europe. We know what this feels like. Our grandparents will tell us what this was like. And we're here again. And our very presence is a moment of defiance against this policy. Thank you for standing up against this. The most important thing is not what any of the speakers say today, it's whether or not you link arms with the people who are standing next to you and organise. If this is a political tactic, then let's serve it up to them. If this is a pre-election stunt, then let's show them that it will fail. Link arms with all Australians of good heart and push back. Do not take this lying down. Whether it be the Refugee Rights Action Network, Socialist Crew, the Pirate Party, WikiLeaks or the Greens, Stop voting for the major parties and stand up for genuine alternatives. And the most important thing really is, con is to continue to do what RAN and its allies have been doing for years. Australians have been force-fed a diet of racism for at least 12 years since the Tampa debacle and now we're back there again only this time we're not looking at a container ship, it's an entire country that is being used to dump off people that the Australian government thinks it can seize a political advantage by persecuting and dehumanising. We can do better than this. We can push back. We've pushed back before. The most important thing, if you can, is to get out to Northam. Get out to the Perth Airport Detention Centre. Go to Curtin. Organise to get out to these places and to look the refugees in the eye and see them as human beings. I have done that. The people from RAN have been doing that for years and organising for others to do this. And that is how we win by linking arms and recognising each other's common humanity from one of the richest countries in the world to some of the poorest people in the world, we are all nonetheless people and that is why we will win. Thanks very much for coming out today. Thank you, Scott.